Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today we got Reverse the Verse, a live show where your questions are answered from chat and spectrum. Here's what you need to know in 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Game mechanics are still being developed. None of the mechanics are going to become a push button scenario. Mechanics will be risk reward and each will be unique. For example, when mining, you're going to need to take care to balance the drilling power versus the speed of the results. If you drive the drill too much, you may risk a catastrophic event. If you drive the drill too soft, your profit margin will be very poor. We got some insight on how salvage would be broken down. Hull stripping, mulching to collect the raw material, item extraction to collect valuable items, data extraction to remove valuable digital intelligence, and siphoning, which will reclaim air and fuel. As of right now, if you have a dedicated industry ship, we shouldn't expect it to operate effectively outside of its intended role. A prospector, for example, may make a crappy salvage ship, and a Vulcan might make a crappy cargo ship. Careful consideration is being taken with regards to enabling a player to order a single AI or groups quickly and correctly. This unified order system will work to command AIs, drones, and players. If an AI or player fails to follow an order, there will be a log to determine why. When you're hiring an AI, not all of the details that you might like to know will be initially evident. You may need to spend some time with the AI to figure out the finer details about its personality. Your equipment choices will help you deal with more G-forces or be better protected. The question, will I be able to train my character to resist G-forces, was actually dodged a little bit. The developers are resistant to the idea of you hiring a full AI crew to operate your ships independently. There's no point in logging into play if the game is going to go play itself in your absence. Mining a planet's surface might come before mining in space. Both will have unique challenges, but will remain fundamentally similar. Actual deformation of the surface, otherwise known as voxel, is not part of the current plan. Blind quantum jumps may not make a return. If you hire an AI, you're going to have to ensure that their needs are satisfied. You're going to have to consider crew areas, food, and other quality of life features. Autopilot is not a set it and forget it situation. Players will chart more effectively than AI, and it doesn't guarantee that you're going to make it safe as planned. Player and AI characters will appear the same. However, based on how they move, you will be able to tell the difference. We will be able to tune and overclock components in the range of a 10% gain, that's not a near goal priority over mechanics such as scanning. These overclocks will stack. There you go, fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.